everyone. It's Mikey T, the movie star. I'm back with another exclusive. Yeah, you know, the last couple days have been crazy. I know a lot of people have been out there thinking, oh, Mikey T got his honor snatched. Other people are saying, allegedly, Mikey T got his honor snatched. You know, if you're following the story closely, you saw a live that I did uh, three, four, five days ago where I actually went and recapped King Erner's video interview with Pooh Sims. That's right. Uh, King Erner was the one who gave Pooh Sims a platform to speak on Max B in a harmful way. So when I saw that, I was like, all right, let me recap this video. Let me give my thoughts on the video. Let me speak on the, the real story of what Pooh Sims is talking about. But also, let me pay respect to King Erner. You know what I mean? Because King Erner has been through a lot in his career from having Instagrams taken down to his page not getting the circulation that it deserves. You know what I mean? King Erner is a guy. King Erner is a guy in this industry who works hard. I've spoken to him on a couple occasions where he's actually told me certain things about the way that he grinded to get to the position that he's in, uh, blockades that have been put in front of him. You know what I'm saying? So this whole thing really threw me off. It really threw me off because I really feel like King Erner didn't even watch the full video that I did. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people in the chat were saying, they were disappointed with King Erner. They feel like Miss. K they feel like King Erner really didn't understand the situation. It's just really a, a a case of misinterpretation. He saw a headline, and he decided to go in. It's weird though because I didn't expect him to go in on me after telling me so many different things about his career and the way that he came up. But guys, you know, the situation is even weirder. Because to me, it looks like King Erner has been watching Gully or Girly TV, however you feel to uh, speak on the man. A lot of people um, right now know that Gully TV is one of the most hated men by OBH after what he did to Dark Low. I mean, look what he did to Leek Moss. When Gully TV brought Leek Moss on his channel, he used that as a platform to clown him afterwards, putting up a bunch of different videos. And, and King Erner is supposed to be one of the best friends of Leek Moss. So how is King Erner clicking on the internet and watching Gully T videos? How do I know this? Because King Erner is using some of the same phrases that Gully TV uses. What's next, you guys? What's next? Are we going to get the Gully TV King Erner interview? Is that what's coming, you guys? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people said that um, I'm the only one putting on for OBH right now. That's what a lot of people are actually online saying right now. And, you know, uh, I, I can't take anything away from what Leek Moss is doing. I can't take anything away from what Poe Rilla has been doing. I can't take anything away from what Razor has been doing. You know, there's a lot of people out there still pumping the OBH name. But I don't want somebody to jump on my back just because I started pumping the OBH name. I've been rocking with Dark Low since 2011. I would like to know when King Erner does his response and whoever else does their response, how long have you been rocking with OBH? When did you actually start rocking with OBH? I know Gully TV probably wrote Dark Low a couple letters fantasizing about working with OBH while he was in the can. But this is really fraud, y'all. And I think everyone tuning into this video knows that today. This is really fraud if King Erner is working with Gully TV who just had a past beef or a, a current beef, you could even say, with OBH. You know what I mean? You got to look at the situation. You got to analyze the situation. And I did. Um, I didn't want to watch King Erner's full video. I didn't. You know what I mean? The guy's taking shots at me for absolutely no reason. He's taking shots at me to to get a little buzz, you know, before he goes and does what he's going to do. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll report on that a little bit later because King Erner just posted on his Instagram that he's about to take a hiatus. So maybe he just wanted to put up a blog about me and he just put up another blog. He wanted to get a couple blogs out there to keep his name up. And maybe he's planning on doing an interview with Gully TV now. Maybe King Erner is planning on that. But you know what, man? You're working with the enemy. You're working with a man who has done everything in his power to cripple your friend's empire. The man is going online and disparaging the name of Leek Moss. And you're going to use the same quotes that he's used against me? We heard the quotes. Gully TV said it. Silver spoon in my mouth. Now, now King Erner says it. Silver spoon in my mouth. What are these guys in collision? You know what I mean? These two guys, King Erner and Gully TV, them working together is anything but honorable and for the man who quote unquote snatches everyone's honor as i said in the last video by coming at me he really snatched his own honor because just four weeks ago 
Just four weeks ago, I came out to North Philly, you know, with two friends. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy. I came out to North Philly with two friends. No real backup. I was out there alone. You know what I mean? I didn't go to Max's with you guys. You know what I mean? I didn't even go to the uh, I didn't even go to the shrimp spot with you guys. I was only around you for twenty or thirty minutes at that video shoot. So what are you talking about? Obh has been the protector of me. You see, this is where I think King Erner gets it twisted, you guys, because he went on his blog and he said that I'm only allowed in Philly because Arab and Dark Low were protecting me. You are wrong, King Erner. You are wrong. And I want some people from Philly to stand up and speak up about this whole situation. Because OBH wasn't the only reason that I was in Philly. I was out in OBH work, uh, excuse me, I was out in Philly working with many different people. Many different people. So for him to come on here, it just shows me how much of a lack of understanding that he has. And then Gully TV jumps on his joint and he says, um, oh, King Earner's putting Mikey T on blast. King Earner's kicking Mikey T out of OBH. It shows me how little Gully TV actually knows about OBH as well. Get your history right, Gully. Get your history right because you're looking like a straight clown. Let's get into the exclusive of what Gully TV actually posted on his page, though. Yep, Gully TV actually post King Earner on his page with a whole follow at King Earner 1 for a guy who's really been dissing OBH for the last six months. You know what I mean? This is kind of funny. You got one of the guys from OBH on your page riding him. That's pretty funny, Gully. But let's get into the message that Gully actually posted so y'all can see how much of a fraud this guy actually is after all the months of dissing OBH. Now he's kissing up to King Erner. It's too funny in my opinion, you guys. And it's not real whatsoever. It shows how much of a fraud Gully has been. He said King Erner finally compares the internet piggyback champion at Mikey T the Movie Star to Donald Trump. Can't keep making OBH videos every day for no reason at all. Ha! Can't keep making OBH videos every day for no reason at all. So that's the term you want to use. Me making videos for OBH for no reason at all. That is absurd. I get message from ARAB. I get letters from Dark Low. I come on here to keep their name alive. There's a lot of people online who say I'm one of the only bloggers that keep their name alive. It's not my fault that the only thing you had when Dark Low went to jail was a threatening letter from him. Because that's what you wanted to post it as. It's not my fault that the only thing you had from Dark Low was a threatening letter because you're a punk. It's not my fault that you got to dig up and steal other people's content. It's not my fault that you got to try to ride King Erner right now. <laughs> you think King Erner is going to come on your platform after what you've said about Leek Moss, after what you've said about Dark Low, after all the disparaging things you've said about OBH in the past? You're a sucker, man. And you know what? If King Erner goes on that platform, does an interview with you, he's a fool for that too. And it shows how much honor he's lost. How much honor he never really had. So I'm waiting. The move is in your corner. The move is in your court, you guys. The ball's been checked. Dribble, because I'm dunking, Gully. You're out of here, kid. You haven't got an interview to save your life in the last six months. Yeah. Who you? Oh, he said he got... Somebody hit me up and said he got Capadonna. Capadonna is a starter kit interview, Gully. I, inter I could have interviewed Capadonna in 2009 when I got started. Do something real. Do something real. I'm going to start throwing up my throwback interviews. I'm going to start throwing up all my old exclusives. So everybody that's coming from that Fraud's channel, everyone that's coming from Fraud TV's channel, Girly TV, they can see the real interviews. They can see a guy who's actually interviewed people. And King Erner saying that all my content has to do with Ab, you are tripping, King Erner. You are absolutely tripping. I think everybody watching this knows that I made my name in Philly with Gilly the Kid. So don't even, don't even trip like that, man. I started working with Dark Low when he didn't have that much of a buzz. Dark Low built his buzz from 2011 when I first met him. That's why our, our bond was so strong. So I want King Erner to check his facts. I definitely need Gully TV to check his facts because he doesn't understand even what he's talking about when he speaks on OBH. He sounds like somebody who's been in jail for 10 years and doesn't understand what he's talking about. And King Erner just doesn't know the basics, the years of how long I've been around and who I've been working with. And the people that you're close and around, they don't know either, man. So get it right. 
It's, it's your boy Mikey T, the movie star. I'm going to keep doing these exclusives, you guys. I'm going to keep on throwing up new throwback interviews. I'm going to keep doing Zoom interviews. I'm going to keep on doing interviews in person because nobody can stop this. Somebody in the comments said, I think Mikey T is the only one that's going to be doing this in five to ten years from now. That's right because Gully TV is going to be in a spin class. King Erner is going to have quit. That's right, you guys, and that's the real facts. It's Mikey T, the movie star. Everyone that's watching this, I want you to tap in with an upcoming brand, a rising brand. It's Ooey Magazine. The first 10 people watching this that DM Ooey Magazine, and I'm going to leave their Instagram in the description, you will get a free year subscription, a digital year for free. That's six issues. It's an issue every other month. And also, you will get a free print copy of the magazine. That's right, you'll get one free print copy of the magazine sent to you by Ui Magazine, as well as six digital copies of the magazine. I know there's a lot of people in here watching that are locked up currently. Yeah, that's right, there's people in here that are actually watching that are locked up, but there's also people out watching that you have friends or family members locked up. I want you guys to tune in with this social media brand. It's Nonstop Connections, www.nonstopconnections.com. It's the perfect place to meet not-so-perfect people with good hearts. Nonstop Connections is a pen pal correspondent service that helps incarcerated men find positive people and new friends to communicate with, and while serving their debt, this is why... This is all while serving their debt to society, you guys, because uh, uh, nonstopconnections.com is that new pen pal correspondence. Let's tap in with the social media branch for the incarcerated. They are also actively involved in helping inmates find employment, positive programming, and housing when available in their area upon their release. You can find out more about this in Ui Magazine because there's a lot of different self-help tips in there like top tens you know what i mean what to do what to not do tap in with ui magazine if you have someone incarcerated pick them up a subscription but also if you're a rising artist tap in with this magazine because it's always good to get involved with a group with an organization when it's young so you can actually relay with them and talk with them you know what i mean once somebody gets out of here it's done you guys but it's Mikey T, the movie star. Everyone that's watching this, I'd appreciate it if you follow me on the gram. Stay tuned for all my new exclusives. It's Mikey T underscore the movie star. If you want to come on the channel to do a live premiere of your music video, or if you want to come on the channel to do an exclusive interview, I'm open for that as well. Or if you want to come on the channel to share your story with ARAB, I'm open for that as well. Respect.